Hi everybody and welcome again to my YouTube channel. Today I want to show you a list of seven stupidly easy to use plugins that I use on almost every mix. But before this, I want to present you an amazing channel from a friend of the Produce Like a Pro Academy. He's AJ Hazard and his channel is Take a Minute by Hazard Sound. Enjoy it. Hi, AJ from Hazard Sound here. Over on my YouTube channel, I create short but to the point video tutorials, walkthroughs, and some guest artist performances, as well as my new segment coming soon called Favorite Fives Friday. Come over and check it out. Hope to see you in there. So here we have the session. These tracks come from a song called Ella from the band Locos de Atar who won the first contest of music against the gender violence of the association Mujeres con Voz Marina Baixa in Spain. The first plugin is the One Knob Weta from Waves. It is a reverb with only one control, which not only controls the length of the reverb, but also the size of the space. I use it always um, with my room mics making the effect bigger. Let's listen a little bit. The next one is another one from One Knob Series, the driver. It is an overdrive effect that can go from a soft overdrive to a strong distortion. I use it always on bass amps to add a little bit of distortion just for sitting in better in the mix. Next one, this is the I Heart New York from Baby Audio. It's a parallel compression plugin which adds a uh, bite to the sound. Just three controls, spank to add this bite and also works as an input control, output control and a fader that controls the amount of effect in the mix. We have also a solo button in case we want only the process signal. In this case, I use it on a kick drum, but we can use it in a lot of sources. Let's go with uh, L1 from Waves. It's uh, so easy to use limiter. Here we have the threshold, the output ceiling, the release and the auto release button that I use almost always. I use it on drum bass just for limiting 
1 or 2 dBs. As you can see, I only use it to catch the highest peaks. Let's move on to the next one. That is our box, also from Waves. This is a compressor that comes from the A-Comp with uh, specific settings for vocals. Only three controls, the gate that I never use, the threshold and the output. It's really easy to use and you can achieve uh, natural sounding compression. I use it in all my mixes. Ella vive la vida, ya dejó de llorar, ya no tiene miedo. Ella ha vuelto a soñar, ella vive la vida, ya dejó de llorar, ya no tiene miedo. Ella vuelto a soñar. The following one is a brother of the Avox, the R-A-X-X. It's the same concept but for guitars. Also with three controls, threshold, attack and output gain. As the Avox, you can obtain a natural sounding and transparent compression. And the last one is the MV2, also from Waves, and maybe one of their best plugins. It's a special compressor because you can also push up the lower signals. Only three controls, low level threshold, high level threshold, and the output gain. I use it always on bass because I can get a more consistent bass line. It can be useful also on vocals and dialogues in film post-production. What do you think? Try them and see how good and simple they are. Leave some comments and subscribe if you haven't already. See you in my next video.